This video will walk you through a wave optics problem, looking specifically at various single slit diffraction calculations. Feel free to pause the video at any time to complete the calculations on your own before the final answer is provided. The problem states that a laser light is passed through a single slit with a width of 0.0780 millimeters. The light is projected onto a screen that is 3.10 meters away from the slit. The distance between the fourth order minima is 14.3 centimeters. We are asked to find the wavelength of the light passing through the slit, the angle of diffraction for the first order minima, the width of the central maximum fringe, and the distance from the center to the fifth order maxima. The first thing we should always do when solving a problem like this is to draw a picture and look at all the givens. For this problem, we were told that the light passed through a slit that measures 0.0780 millimeters. So A is equal to 0.0780 millimeters, which is equal to 7.80 times 10 to the negative 5 meters. Next, we were told the light is projected on a screen that is 3.10 meters away from the slit. So X is equal to 3.10 meters. No conversion is needed here because it is already in SI units. Finally, we were told that the distance between the fourth order minima is 14.3 centimeters. While the distance between these minima is important, we have to remember that it is twice the value of y that we will use for our calculations. So the distance we are specifically concerned with is half of the value given, which is 7.15 centimeters, or 7.15 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. Now that we have determined all of our givens, we need to decide which equation to use to solve part A, which is to find the wavelength of the light. The base equation we will start with is A times sine of theta is equal to M times wavelength. Rearranging to solve for wavelength, we get wavelength is equal to A times the sine of theta divided by M. Because we were given the distance between the fourth order minima, we will use M equals 4 in this equation. Since we do not currently know the value of theta, we need to use trigonometry instead. Sine is equivalent to the opposite side of a triangle over the hypotenuse, which we, we do currently do not know. However, for single slit diffraction calculations, we are able to use small angle approximation. So, we are able to use tangent in place of sine. Tangent is equivalent to opposite over adjacent, which in this case is y and x respectively, as shown in the diagram. Now we can use this equation to complete the wavelength solution. Wavelength is equal to a times y divided by m times x. Once we complete the calculation, we find that the wavelength is equal to 4.49758 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Using three significant figures, that would be 4.50 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Wavelength measurements are usually given in nanometers which is 10 to the negative 9 meters, and doing that conversion to 3 sig figs would give us 450 nanometers. Now that we have the wavelength, we can simply solve for theta by rearranging the base equation mentioned previously. Since we are asked to find the angle of diffraction for the first order minima, m is equal to 1. Solving the equation, we find that theta is equal to 0.331 degrees. This also shows that the small angle approximation is in fact okay to use in these calculations because theta is less than 10 degrees. To find the width of the central maxima, we need to understand exactly what that means. Using this diagram, we can see that the distance we are trying to find is also the distance between the two first order minima. This means that in order to find the width of the central maxima, we need to find the distance between the center and the first order minima and double it. To solve for y, you would use the equation y equals m times wavelength times x divided by a. However, because we know that the width of the central maxima is equal to the distance between the first order minima, we account for that with the equation y max is equal to 2 times its wavelength times x divided by a. Solving the equation, we find that the width of the central maximum fringe is 0.0358 meters. 
Since the measurements of minima and maxima are given in centimeters, we can convert the width to 3.58 centimeters. Now we're asked to find the distance from the center to the fifth order maxima. The equation used to solve for y for single slit diffraction only applies to the distances from the center to the minima, not the maxima. Because of this, in order to find the distance from the center to the fifth order maxima, we need to find the average of the distances for y5 and y6 because the fifth order maxima is in between those two minima, as you can see in the diagram. We will use the equation used in part C to solve for y5 and y6 and take the average. Once averaged, we find that the fifth order maxima is 9.84 centimeters from the center. Now for a little bonus content. As mentioned earlier, these calculations are possible because of small angle approximation. Another way to double check the validity of this is to use another order distance. Since we just calculated y6, we can use that as the example. If the calculations are correct, tan of y6 divided by x should be approximately the same as y6 divided by x, both in radians. Also, always remember to keep the units the same throughout the calculations. As you can see, those two numbers are approximately equal, and rounding to three significant figures, they are equal.